What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So, exactly the same route as I did on yesterday's video, but now at night time. So it probably won't be exactly the same, but roughly the same route that I did in the daytime video. I'm going to do tonight at night time and show you what Japan looks like at night time. So what will be different from the day video and the night video is uh, two things. One, it's now night time. Well, shit, he don't go and said the obvious. And number two, I've had four cans of beer and so I'll probably be interacting with the locals a bit more than I did in the daytime video, hopefully. Okay. So we'll uh, make a quick stop at the local convenience store, buy out one more beer to uh, help me, to give me the uh, courage to make this video because I will be needing to speak to local people. But yeah, basically I'll show you um, the areas that were a bit dodgy today. The, uh, the area where you could get a blowjob for 30 minutes for $70. And uh, some of the other areas. I'll show you what they're like at night time when there's actually customers there. So I'm going to skip this red light and uh, visit the local Family Mart convenience store. Hopefully, I've turned the front screen on my GoPro off so that they won't realise I'm recording. So hopefully they won't throw a wobbly and say, hey, stop recording. But we'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, oh, hello. So join me as I go for a quick nighttime ride around the way. So here we are at the convenience store. I better be quiet so it's not so obvious that I am actually recording. But I'll take you in with me anyway. One thing I will tell you, this guy in front of me is a construction worker. In his jacket he's got fans. You see on the left and the right side of his like kidney area, there's a bunch of these strange looking objects. They're like cooling fans to keep you cool. So let's have an asahi. That'll do. And my shoelace is coming down too. お願いします。カードでお願いします。カードです。ございます。ごめんね。はい、ございます。Oh, nice. The same chick I saw outside who I said, "Ooh." All right, the bike's still safe and sound. So I'll put this beer in my pocket and we'll uh, go somewhere a bit safer to stop along the way. Now, as it's night time now, I guess there won't be any annoying security guards who are gonna tell me to uh, not ride my bicycle under the tower. So let's just go into the tower. Here we are. Yeah, as you can see, it's at night time even, it's still pretty, pretty popular. Still plenty of people here. There's that place we saw from uh, the first video, Da, the alley. So it's, uh, it's closed now, obviously, but it looks like a trendy cafe. Anyway, let's continue on. So in the middle here, there's this grassy area where people like to have picnics and have a little party and whatnot at night time. So yeah, it looks like people are partying now as well. Nobody's wearing a mask, or oh, some of them are wearing masks. I'm not, some of them are. Well, it's a per personal choice, I guess. Right, so in the daytime video, I went that way on the other side of the street, but this time I'll just go this side of the street because what's the point in crossing when the lights are not in one's favour? 
All right, so you can see in front of me this big building, the Annex building. There's a store there, I think you can see it, the third one, but the sign at the top, Tokyo Hands. That's a pretty popular store. It's like they sell stationery and gifts and uh, you can get like an Inkan made there, which is, you know, like the stamp. So here, it, there's no, no one's really into signatures. It's all about doing the rubber stamps. So you can get your stamp made there and uh, buy some beautiful envelopes and uh, letters, letter paper and stuff like that. Anyway, let's continue on. So I hope you're uh, able to see the video tonight, okay? I recorded at ISO 100 to 800, which my friend Andy Fairweather told me was absolutely 100% the best settings. So if this video is shit, please feel free to send Andy and a virtual slap to the face. All right, we've got some joggers up, up ahead. Are they gonna run the red or are they gonna keep going? Are they gonna run the red? Good old boys, well, I'm going with you. It's a funny story I heard about um, in Hiroshima when the bomb was dropped. Even though the whole city was totaled, you know, from the, an A-bomb getting dropped on you, they still um, were respecting the, the traffic code. So even though the whole city was in ruins, the people were still waiting for a green light on the crossings. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. But, I mean, it could be just one of those urban legends. Right, so I think we went on this side of the road last time, so I'll try to, uh, try to follow the same route that I did. And hopefully we can see some nice, nice ladies tonight. So let's get around these slow moving pedestrians so one thing to watch out for is uh people like sitting on this on the, the side of the road or like these people here these dudes are 100 i don't know if you noticed the uh tattoos on the leg there those dudes are 100 percent workers of the clubs like the hostess clubs and the other stuff that i was telling you about so they're dodgy fucks so you don't really want to be allowing them to you know suggest places to you and bring you into the clubs which they will do they'll say hey come on come on cousin come to my club my brother's got a really nice club here and it's really cheap it's only three thousand yen for two hours or you know they'll give you some bullshit like that and if you go then you're gonna be fucked because they're gonna rape your ass well rape your wallet anyway but yeah, so those kind of, the only kind of people that have got that sort of available cash, obviously they're going to buy Camaro and uh, expensive Benz. So yeah, so you got to go watch out for those kind of types. Did I come this way last time or not? I'm getting confused again. My route or route has become confused. Confused. Hello, sir. You're a strange looking motherfucker. Um, yeah, I don't think I came this way last time. I wanted to go back to the uh, 7,000 7, yen blood your place. Let's, let's go and have a look for it. I think it's on the next road on the right. But anyway, this way is, um, we're coming the opposite direction, but this is where the uh, Korban, the police box and the temple are the other way. So we're on the same street as that anyway. So, no we're not, we're on the right street because there's the coin parking that I showed you guys. So the Korban and the temple will just be coming up on our right any second now. Here you go. Here you go, here is the temple or shrine or whatever the hell it is. Let's have a quick look inside, see what it looks like at night time. There's that beautiful police car. Oh, and there's less bicycles now. I guess they're patrolling. I better watch myself. So yeah, there's the temple at night time. Nothing much going on here. So let's continue on and see what kind of adventures we can find. You know what I reckon? 
I reckon that that way, towards where it says, it says Princess Odori. Princess Odori, I think that says. My Japanese is not perfect, but I'm pretty sure that's what that says. Princess Odori. So let's go this way and see if we can find anything interesting. See if we can find some people to talk to as well, which will be nice. Seems I've got a bit of Dutch courage in me. I don't have a mask on though, so maybe people won't want to talk to me because I'm not wearing a mask. And I haven't been vaccinated and I never will be. Okay, here's some, here's some dodgy looking motherfuckers. Um, yeah, we go this way. Oh, and it's an old man with a lightsaber. Be careful, everyone. Could be... Could, no, oh. oh, I thought it might be a uh, Luke Skywalker, but it wasn't. So yeah, this is the street I was on before um, in the daytime video. So one of the things I forgot to point out, in fact, is that one of the most popular clubs in this town is on this street. Uh, where is the host of the club? It looks different. Anyway, so yeah, one of the most popular clubs in Nagoya is here, which is this, this club here, which is obviously closed now, which is ID, ID Bar. It's called ID Bar, but it's a full-on club. And back in the day, it used to be open until whatever hour, you know, like 5, 6 a.m. or whatever. But there were so many fights because of, um, well, how can I say this without offending my Brazilian friends? Well, I can't. There were so many fights with the Brazilians that uh, the police get, kept getting called every week, you know, like every Friday, every Saturday. And so they imposed a rule on that club specifically, so they had to close at 1 a.m. And so then it became lame. And uh, this one here, if you can see that on the seventh floor, KC Bar, that's a friend of mine's bar. He's a dude from... Where is he from, actually? He's from Africa, but I can't remember what country. Hmm, can't remember, but KC Bar, International Sound Bar, really cool place. You can play darts in there, you can drink, and it, it's pretty cheap. Like, most bars, they charge maybe like $8 a beer, but this one, they just sell cans of beer, like the one I just bought from the convenience store for 500 yen. Um, so he makes a decent profit, I guess. He probably buys them for 200, sells them for 500. But it's a bar and you can hang out with people and stuff like that. And he plays like hip hop, reggae, pop, Latin, top 40. And it's open till 8 p.m. until 8 a.m. So it's open until way into the morning. All right, so we're back here at Fashion Health Michel. I wonder if there's any customers in there. Should we wait and see? See who comes out and then film them and then blackmail them, tell them we'll show their wife. No, we won't do that. Anyway, let's carry on. So where did I go next? I guess I went left. Need to find somewhere where we can stop and drink our beer. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is where we went last time, right? So that building over there is the one that I told you had all the cool restaurants. Indian restaurant, Mexican restaurant, some Japanese restaurants, a Korean restaurant, all sorts in there. So definitely want to go there too. What are these security guards doing? Hmm, that's weird. Should we ask them? Should we ask them? No, let's not. Right, so we'll carry on up this street. It's actually, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty quiet, hey. I guess it's only, uh, it's about nine o'clock now, 9 p.m. on a Monday night. So obviously it's not Friday night at midnight, which is when it would be the most popular, but yeah, it's actually surprisingly quiet. But uh, let's continue on. Let us continue on. Oh, fuck. There's a bicycle right in my way. Should I just go at full speed and see what happens? Yeah, I think I will. I'll go at full speed. Oh! oh. <laughs> he said sorry too. I see me what I saying. I thought he was a gangster, but obviously not. When he saw a big fat gaijin coming at him at full speed, he obviously shit his pants. 
What a pussy. Ah, and this street too, it's so cool. All the cold air is coming out of all these buildings, all the air conditioned air. It's really cool. My legs are suddenly refreshed. So yeah, we came this way last time. I didn't really mention any of the shops, so I'm not really into shopping, but yeah, all these shops here are, there's some pretty big department stores and whatnot. I think we've got a Brazilian in front of us. Big ass and a tattoo. Gotta be. Gotta be a Brazilian. Hello, Augusto. Hello, Felipe. Sorry for being racist about your fellow countrymen. But they're so easy to spot because of their massive asses and tattoos. <laughs> so yeah, here is uh, where I showed you the Rolex shop. Let's try and not get, not get run over by this truck. So yeah, for some reason today the Rolex shop had a queue of about five or six people waiting to go inside. And that is when I said something about, it's amazing how much money you see in this country. And uh, on the daytime video and the nighttime video, I haven't seen one Ferrari or Lamborghini. So maybe you think I'm talking shit. Okay, let's go. Let's go, go, it's flashing. So the big store ahead of us now is Don Quixote. Don Quixote, I think it's supposed to be like the Spanish legend of Don Quixote. But uh, yeah, inside there, the best thing that they sell is foreign size condoms. Because getting condoms in Japan can actually be a pain in the ass. But uh, in Don Quixote they sell the black horse and what's the other one called? It's like the gorilla size or something. Gorilla XL. <laughs> I forgot what they call it, but yeah, you can get you can get condoms that actually fit Western dicks, which is rather nice. Well obviously my rule is raw is law, but never with a whore. Right, so last stop of, on our little whistle stop tour. Ah, see what's it? <laughs> That's good for the video too. So this one is red. But she's going, so fuck it, I'll go too. So this place here, Hotel Hotel Nature, Nagoya Sakai. Um, is there a nice way of saying this? Probably not, but when I got out of jail, that is the hotel. That I stayed in because uh, when I got out I didn't have anywhere to go and uh, my lawyer at the time printed off a list of the cheapest hotels in Nagoya and that was one of them I think it was like $30 for one night or something like that so yeah I stayed there for a couple of weeks until I uh, made amends with the wife and moved back home but yeah I guess we'll end it here so this place here this kebab little thing Years and years and years ago, about 10 years ago, my friend used to run this. So, um, well, my friend's friend. We used to go to his bar and drink all night and then come here. And then after we'd had a kebab, we would go to, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, maybe in this building. I can't remember the name exactly, but it was like a Spanish sounding name. Or Italian even, maybe it was that one, Grazia. So yeah, we used to go there and, uh, chat to ladies yeah so I think that's enough enough chatting for one night so I'll uh, go and park myself somewhere where I can drink my beer and uh, yeah I will uh, do the next video as as I said around the Nagoya station area hopefully tomorrow morning so guys I will see you then see you on the flip side motherfuckers